I'm going to show you today about Easy Weather, which is a way to get a full weather brief uh, in one minute. Now, the way we do that, instead of putting uh, text and linking that to an image, is we do it the other way. We put the images up. So all you have to do is go to easywx.info, and the site comes up. And as you see, you scroll down, it goes from general, which we have like the general uh, weather of the United States, down to more specific, like turbulence, um, VFR, IFR, national mosaic loops, uh, cloud tops, radar with cloud tops, sigmets, and airmets. Now, the great thing about this is it also has the links to where you need to go. So say you were uh, traveling at flight level 330 you click on that and it'll show you the turbulence and it goes from none to extreme the other great thing about it is it does three hour forecast six nine and twelve so if you were in flight and say you didn't have a link you and you were going cross country you could actually have the forecast for the turbulence for your whole trip cross country and back At the top, you can also see that we've divided into later, world current weather, and acronyms. Later is just a forecast. So if we go there, we can see that we have the uh, the current forecast, what it's going to look through, the 12 hour with precipitations, 24, 36, 48 hour. And then on the bottom, we have the convective outlook for 12 hours, and 24 hours. Now, if we want to go back, we can just go back here. Now, world current weather is uh, images from the sections of the globe. So you can see here we have the Americas with the satellite image with a timestamp. Then we have the Atlantic, the Pacific South, the Pacific North, the North Polar over the Atlantic, the North Polar over the Pacific, and the South Polar. Polar. Now, as you can see, there is timestamps on these. So if we go here, we see that it's on the second at 12 Zulu. It'll always default to this image, but if you'll see up here, we have different timestamps also that we can go to. So you can see we have a second at 12. Let's go to 18Z. What do we have? As you can see, well, that is an old one. So we can go back using the back button check our zero z and you can see that that 12 noon was the latest information that we have for this map another function we have is acronyms and these are the faa acronyms that you can see we have the hyperlink letters here and um, so if you have uh, uh, an acronym on your weather report and you say it starts with a j they are all the um all the acronyms from the FAA for your weather brief that start with J. The other great feature is this also works without a link. So let's say you downloaded it when you were um, by a source and you were at the gate uh, about to get on the airplane and you don't have a connection the hyperlinks will still work. So we will check, say, 290, and we want to check for the next nine hours. We're going from New York to LA and back. We could see what the turbulence will be at that time. And again, like I said, all of the links work.
Now, one last thing about EZWX.info is that it um, it is not your weather briefing. You have to go to your paperwork or to the FAA for that. The whole idea of this tool is to let you look and see what you might want to look for on the paperwork. Like if you had the you were looking for Juliet and you saw that that was out there, you could actually go to your paperwork and find out what they were talking about.